And Circuit 7, Holly Doyle to complete the line. Last one is in. We're set. Long Jean International Jockeys Championship about to get underway. Ready? The crowd roars. We're set for a start. They're off and racing. And a little bit patchy there from Red Maverick out wide. It goes back also with Circuit 7. Super Commander charged onto the pace here and he leads over Diamond Saws. A strung out field already. Over on the outside, Harmony Fire for Hewitson. And then came over, subscribed. He's fourth for Rachel King. A break of three to Galvanic. Savvy Delight on the inside. And then came Circuit 7. Muzabayev's got Gorgeous Vitality back on the inside. Followed there by G1 Excellent Red Maverick and Yuga Kiwada with Super Fast Dragon, the last one. They come towards the 400 metres. Super Commander for Karis Teton. He'll turn in first over Harmony Fire. They're too clear on oversubscribed. Diamond Saw's amazing ace. Savvy Delight back over on the inside. Gorgeous Vitality. It's Harmony Fire over on the outside. Oversubscribed has raced up. Taken the lead here for Rachel King. Diamond Saw staying on. Super Fast Dragon at the late, but it is oversubscribed and Rachel King to win the first leg. Second half Harmony Fire, close third, Diamond Saws, Savvy Delight, or Super Fast Dragon rushing home for Yuga Kiwada. Next in Super Commander, followed by Gorgeous Vitality, Galvanic. Then came Red Maverick, followed by G1 Excellent, Amazing Ace, and Circuit 7. He was the last one on pulling up, and he was back at the end of the field, one of the runners we thought would go forward. for Ryan Moore at 2.1. 16.50 for race five, the second leg of the IJC. We're set for a start. M Unicorn stands okay with an attendant there away. And he jumped away pretty well, M Unicorn. Two Infinity Beauty Mission go back in the early push. And going forward, Tattenham with wide blue yonder. And towards the inside is red hair, King and Club Soda kicking up for Holly Doyle over on the inside. Killer Instinct for Tom Mark went up in the first five as they hit past the winning post on their first occasion. Shua Joyful came next, followed by M Unicorn, who's midfield on the rail from Superb Move and Yuga Kiwada. Back on the inside is two Infinity for Rachel King, back fourth last year from Durham Star Beauty Mission and Snow a lot the last one for Karis Teton. 28-36, so again no pace here as they hit by the football club. A thousand metres left to go. Tattenham is the leader. For Zach Pertinent shows out on wide blue yonder for James McDonald running second. Killer Instinct third. Club Soda. Husband and wife together over on the inside. Followed in turn by Red Hair King. Then came M Unicorn. He's midfield the favourite over on the inside of Shua Joyful and Vincent Ho. Pace is still fairly even. Two to superb move to Infinity. And then came Durham Star. He's third to last for Mikhail Barcelona. Followed by Beauty Mission. And the last one is Snow a lot. They're about to come off the back. He's had a good lead here. Purton on Tattenham. And he leads over. Wide blue yonder second. Killer Instinct under pressure third. Red Hair King travels well from Club Soda. Next is Shua Joyful. He angles off heels at the top of the straight. And M Unicorn, he's about four lengths off the leader, who is tatting him. What's he got left in the locker? Not much by the looks of things. Red Hair King's moved up. Shua Joyful and Ryan Moore bursting through with a favourite M Unicorn. And he has gone whoosh! M Unicorn! M Unicorn for Ryan Moore from Shua Joyful. Red Hair King and and he's too good in Unicorn. Photo second, Red Hair King, or Shua Joyful. Beauty Mission was flying home. He's in a photo for fourth with superb move and snow a lot running on. Next in wide blue yonder to Infinity, Durham Star, Club Soda, Killer Instinct, and the early leader, Tattenham, weakened to be the last one. M Unicorn for Ryan Moore. Four from close second. Might be the inside. It is number five. Red Hair King, more points for Lyle Hewitson. Vincent Home, more points for him. Third, and superb move to uh, hold on for fourth. Beauty Mission was running on, as too was Snow a lot. But maximum points here for Ryan Moore. Casper Founds.
The five-year-old by Savabeel, he's won three of his last four starts and he's gone off at the price of 2.6 in the end. He's drifted from 2.1. So the first favourite home tonight had a lovely run through, got the gaps in required in the straight. Plenty still to play for in the IJC of 2023. More support, sixth generation, but the favourite is Quantum Patch at 2.6. They're off and racing. And a little slow from the start with Storm Legend. Might have been by design from barrier number 11. And away fast was E-Legend, but going forward is Splendid Living as he likes to do. Sixth generation kicking up on the inside. And Silver Sonic handy, but he looks like he might be caught a little deep into the first turn. All Beauty kicking up, so Silver Sonic does get through to be one off. And then came Star Contact. He's trapped deep. Flagship Warrior between runners. They're not going quick again. Flying Mojito back on the inside from D-Star. He's a little wide as they travel up the side, followed by Storm Legend in the last two. They are the favourite Quantum Patch in Ivy League. 28-1-8, so a little outside standard. A 1,000 metres left to go. And the third leg of the Longines International Jockeys Championship. And the leader is E-Legend, steadying the tempo in front. Second is Splendid Living. On the outside, Star Contact faces the breeze for Rachel King. Sixth generation for Karis Teton, tucked away, lock and key in the trail. Silver Sonic in the centre for Purton. Then came All Beauty, flagship warrior for McDonald, a little wider. Around Storm Legend for Vincent Ho. Well back is D-Star for Yuga Kiwada. And then came Quantum Patch, Mikhail Barcelona. He's back third last here with Flying Mojito. And Ivy League last for Ryan Moore. He's had a good lead to down the side here as Muzabayev on E-Legend over Splendid Living the leader clicked up now up on the outside Star Contact Silver Sonic right there is 6th generation he's had every chance and Quantum Patch is starting to descend down the middle of the track it is Silver Sonic who's raced to the lead Quantum Patch is a length and a half away Purton getting everything out of Silver Sonic Silver Sonic will win from Quantum Patch 2nd All Beauty 3rd Splendid Living 4th close flag Flagship Warrior, E-Legend just came to the end of it. Star Contact next to run through. Ivy League, then came Storm Legend, Flying Mojito, 6th Generation, and D-Star. Zach Purton for Francis Loy with Silver Sonic. Eight beats four. Quantum Patch second for Mikhail Barcelona. Third in all beauty, so more points again for Lyle Hewitson. He was sitting on 12 coming into this. That's going to help propel him forward. And then we've got Splendid Living fourth for Tom Marquins. Eight Silver Sonic, the winner, but certainly the real winner out of that again is Lyle Hewitson, who's going to pick up four points for running third. But take nothing away from Silver Sonic. And he's been able to win this after last time going crazy up front in that race. That was won eventually by Chil Chibi. The form was Frank there again here last Wednesday night, given a perfect run in transit by Purton got into the one-off position basically just after the winning post the first time and they've run 140.69 again it's outside standard eight four six and one 12 points for Purton but more points again for sugar sugar coming up in the hands of uh, Barcelona lightning bolt for Karis Teton here we go final leg Set for a start. Racing from the 1,200 metres. He jumped away really well. Toronado fan of it. Tomodachi Kokoro. He goes forward in the early stages. As two does Lucky Archangel. And Kaholo Angel up onto the pace as well. Game player elite settles fourth. And then came Sugar Sugar. He's four deep into the first turn. Beauty Glory. Now back on the inside is the grey Toronado fan of one of three greys in the race. Lightning Bolt to his outside. A little break back to a Golden Empire. Solar Partner throw over on the inside. Solid impact two and a half away with Simba. He's been chased up last. Steady tempo. 600 metres left to go. And it is Tomodachi Kokoro. He's in front here by a length and a half. Second is Sugar Sugar. Lucky Archangel third. Kaholo Angel in a beautiful spot. One back, one out. Then came Game Player Elite. Uh, McDonald getting him into the clear. Followed by Toronado Phantom back on the inside. And Lightning Bolt heads for home in the final leg of the IJC. It is Tomodachi Kokoro in front. Sugar Sugar. Kaholo Angel there to strike 
bike for Purton, then came behind those runners, behind them as well as Toronado fed him, Tomodachi Kokoro in front, fighting hard here, and Tomodachi Kokoro, he wins again from Koholo Angel second, Toronado Phantom third, and fourth in Game Player Elite, solid impact, and then came Golden Empire, Lightning Bolt, Sugar Sugar, next in as they've run on by Solar Partner, Simba, Lucky Archangel, and Beauty Glory, about one of the last ones on pulling up. Vincent Ho, David Hayes has been. If you want more horse racing content, make sure you click out our brand new website.